Now, it's not often that I talk about TV shows or documentaries, but I think that this is really important. I think this is probably one of the most important and maybe influential documentaries that has either come out in the last 10 years or pretty much ever come out. This is something quite special. And this is They Shall Not Grow Old. So I thought I'd sit today and just talk a little bit about it, just so you guys are aware about it, because it actually comes out tomorrow, and so you guys can go and check it out if you're into this sort of thing. And even if you're not, I think this is definitely worth taking a look, just how big of a jump this is with not just technology, but looking back into the past, and what we can really experience that our ancestors experienced before it, and something that everyone should do. Now, what is They Shall Not Grow Old? Well, this is Peter Jackson's new project. He is directing this World War I documentary, but a documentary unlike any done before. This is a documentary taken from actual World War I footage, but recreated into colour and sort of worked with to make it look and sound a lot nicer. Yes, I do mean sound, because back in the day, film wasn't actually able to capture sound, but now they've added sounds and recreated it as authentically as possible, so it looks exactly like it would have in the day. Taking you back into the shoes of those soldiers. There has been documentaries before, I think there was a World War II colourised one, but World War II is a bit different. Technology had gone somewhere at that point. There was a lot of things that we really know about World War II. And there's people still alive that were in World War II. I think some of the last veterans have died that were in World War I now that really experienced what these soldiers experienced. So it's something of an anomaly to at least my generations and a lot of generations before us. Because there's... A lot of footage that we've seen, but we've not really been able to experience it as it was in the time. This documentary, its aim is to show you how it was seen and heard 100 years ago, back in the footsteps of our grandparents, showing us the real life. And my god, it looks absolutely incredible. We're able to experience what it's like to be an infantryman on the front line or in r, &R being able to see the camaraderie between the soldiers. The they had lifted spirits and they necessarily didn't know what they were going into and we really see some of the horrors. The footage as you can see is no longer juddery but it's been slowed down and uh, to a normal speed with added frames which is probably done with some sort of resampling and there seems to be some sort of CG elements in placements as you can see but that's not really important how it was done but it's what it represents and what it shows to a generation that didn't experience what these guys did. Now, of course, you can see colour has been added on top of sound, but also commentary from real war veterans that were recorded back in the day. Here you can just see the laughs, the smiles of the soldiers. They experience these times with each other. The soldiers sitting on top of a tank as it goes down the hill, the joy on their faces, the messing about with each other, and of course you can see them just chilling about doing their thing. Now, I think this is incredibly important. Not just because this shows a massive advance in the technology that we've got these days and what could the possibilities be in the future, but the amount of educational purposes this could have. Being able to experience just even a fraction of what they did back in the day is incredibly important to how we remember people. I, I, I always wonder how many of them thought that they were just sacrificing themselves in vain, that there wasn't really anything worth fighting for, because in the end, this was a horrific war, but no matter how many times people say that, it's very, very hard to come to terms with even a fraction of what these people experienced, and I think this, although it will still be far off, will be a step in the right direction to helping us remember and respect the men and women that died for the countries around the world. Not just our countries, but other countries, the way that they fought and how it came to be. Now, this is being screened on the 16th of October, which uh, when I'm recording it is tomorrow from now. So, this is something that I'd really recommend you guys going and see if you can. It looks like it's only one day in on the cinema, so definitely go and see that. But I suspect that it'll be able to be viewed after the... Well, of course it will be. This is something that they're not just going to view once, but in cinemas, it's going to be tomorrow. Now, it's also 
which I think is absolutely incredible, going to be sent to every single secondary school in the UK, which, as I said, for educational purposes and for learning tools, this is something that is going to be very, very important and help people, especially the new generations coming up. And I suspect that a lot of people don't really know anything about World War One. The people watching this probably do because we're very passionate about history. We look into it. I make videos on it. I do a lot of research on it. A lot of the people that watch my videos do the same. You don't just play games on it, but you like watching TV shows. You like watching films. You like watching YouTubers. You like reading books about history. That is why you are on this channel and why you are watching it. But it shocked me for how many people know very little about what happened in our past. And even just a hundred years ago, our past is thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. But even just the last hundred years is very unknown to some people. So I'm very happy that this has been made and I think this is going to be absolutely incredible. I'm going to try and get my hands on it as soon as possible. Once I've seen the whole documentary, I'll make another video on it of what I thought. And maybe going to get a discussion about what you guys thought about this documentary as well. But I know it's just a quick video and I know I've been away for some time. But I saw this documentary and I really, really suggest you guys go and try and watch this if you can. If not, I hope the stuff you see on screen is enough to inspire you to go and watch it or just see it as it is. Because I think this is something very incredible and I'm very happy that Peter Jackson has actually taken the mantle up to do this. Because coming from massive blockbusters such as the Lord of the Rings trilogy and of The Hobbit and then taking those millions and millions of dollars films and then moving to a documentary which is something that is very very different which proves that he's doing it because he wants to share the experience he's not doing it out of money on lust he's doing it because he has a passion for this and this is something that needs to be shown so thank you guys for watching this i definitely hope you guys will go and check it out make sure you leave down in the comments what you think about this i think this is absolutely incredible but make sure you stay subscribed to the channel if you haven't already for more information on documentaries like this but also just historical news in general moving in and from gaming every now and then. But thank you guys for watching and until then I will see you in the next one.